What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler if you haven't yet. But with all that being said, let's get into it. About three weeks ago, Adidas unveiled the brand new My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno. This of course was the newest iteration of the My Adidas Ultra Boost series. There have been a couple different versions released of the My Adidas Ultra Boost. One based off the Statue of Liberty and one being a multicolored colorway. Even though these Ultra Boosts are technically My Adidas sneakers, which means you can customize them to how you like them, you really only had a couple limited options. And not only that, but it's also been been really difficult to get a code to customize your own pair when these limited runs drop. And just like previous versions of the My Adidas Ultra Boost, the Xeno run is still pretty limited and as of right now is only available to purchase in New York City. I went to the Adidas Fifth Avenue store a couple days after the shoe dropped and surprisingly there were still a couple pairs available. So what I had to do was actually customize the shoe at the store itself on one of their computers and then have an employee give me a code and then I purchased it. You can actually check out the whole customization process in a vlog that I did in a link at the top of the screen. One thing that kind of blew me away about this particular release of the My Adidas Ultra Boost is that this shoe came in like two weeks. For reference, the last pair that I did, which was the multicolored colorway, took seven weeks to ship. So I mean, mad props to Adidas because I literally got this shoe 15 days after I ordered it. So without further ado, here it is, the My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno. So obviously this is my take of the shoe. There was a couple different options available. You could do a black boost midsole, you could do a black heel cup, all sorts of different things. This is a version that I went with because I think it looks really clean and it also kind of reminds me of the Hype Beast Ultra Boost, which is one of my favorite and also a shoe that I missed out on. So jumping right into the upper, you have this all black 3.0 prime knit pattern. The black prime knit upper was one thing you couldn't actually change on the shoe. You had to go with a black 3.0 upper, which isn't a bad thing because I think it looks really clean. The prime knit is exactly the same as all the other 3.0 Ultra Boosts, so if you try it on any of those pairs, you know exactly how this is going to feel. I also like the fact that there isn't any variation in color on this prime knit upper. It's all one tone of black. Most of the other 3.0 uppers have some color variation in the prime knit, which I do think looks good. However, I think this pure black upper looks really clean. Moving back on the shoe, you get to the main event, which of course is the reflective Xeno cage. I don't know how many of you guys remember back in 2015 that before Adidas was dropping Ultra Boost, or at least before they had blown up, Adidas dropped the ZX Flux with the Xeno upper. The whole shoe was covered in reflective Xeno panels, which kind of gave the shoe a snakeskin look. Honestly, it was a really dope shoe, and it was one of the first Adidas pickups that I had made in a couple years. And even though that technology was pretty popular at the time, and they did a couple different Xeno versions of all-star basketball sneakers, it hadn't made an appearance in about a year. So I think it's really cool that Adidas is bringing that technology back on one of their most popular models, the Ultra Boost. If you guys aren't familiar with what Xeno technology is, basically it's this reflective upper. It's almost like 3M, but instead of just reflecting bright white when you hit it with the flash, it actually reflects a couple different colors like greens and blues and purples. It's really a dope look and it kind of gives the shoe another dimension design-wise, especially when you're outside and the sun hits it just right. I couldn't really get that reflective look on video. I had to take a couple shots with my phone with the flash on to actually see it. But man, when you see it, it's over. However, as much as I love the look when the light hits it just right, when it's just in regular lighting or not under direct light. It's kind of just muddy and gray. And that's the one thing that kind of bums me out about this shoe and it's also the reason I didn't go for a full triple black look. Even though the triple black look is clean, when the light's not hitting the cage and the heel cup right, it just kind of looks muddy and gray with some purple in it. It just doesn't look that good. That's just my opinion and I still think the shoe looks good in the triple black colorway, but that's the main reason I went with this white heel cup and outsole. Continuing back on the shoe, I went with black laces and a 3M tag. Inside the shoe, you've got an all black sock liner with the black insole with white text. An interesting detail is that on the lace tips, it actually says my Adidas. Not really important, just something I noticed. As for fit, these fit just like any other Ultra Boost 3.0. For me, that's true to size. Unlike the previous multicolor My Adidas Ultra Boost, these don't fit any tighter because they didn't actually change the upper of the shoe at all. If you have an opportunity to grab a pair of these and you're not sure what size to get, make sure to try on a pair of just regular Ultra Boost 3.0s just to make sure the sizing is right for you. Continuing back on the shoe, you get to my favorite feature of this My Adidas Ultra Boost, which is the white heel cup. The outer edges of the heel cup are the same plastic that you find in most Ultra Boosts, and in this particular pair, it's an all white. The intersection of the heel cup is more Xeno material and it has this sort of cream look so it's not exactly the same tone of white as the rest of the heel cup. That doesn't really bother me and you can't really see it from a distance so it is what it is. One thing I will mention though is that this white Xeno does not reflect as well as the black Xeno. In my opinion in regular light it looks better than the cage but when you hit it just right with that flash or whatever it is you're gonna get a lot cooler reflection out of the cage than you are of the heel cup. Moving down the shoe you get back into standard ultra boost territory with this boost midsole. As I mentioned before this is the first my Adidas run to actually allow you to customize the boost color and by customizing 
customize, I mean, make it black. That look was pretty cool, but the only option that allowed you to get the white heel cup was to go with the white boost, so that's what I did. And finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this all-white continental outsole. I know I always hate on white outsoles because they always get dirty so fast, but for this particular custom of the shoe, I felt like it just needed that white outsole to match with the boost and the heel cup. Overall, I'm stoked on my version of the My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno, and honestly, I should be because it's the one that I created. I really like the incorporation of the Xeno elements, and I love the white heel cup. I'm stoked on it. As of right now, these customs are only available to do at the New York Fifth Avenue store, and honestly, I'm not even sure if they're still in stock. However, Adidas has said that there will be a wider rollout of the My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno online, so if you guys are trying to grab a pair of these, just be patient. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of my version of the My Adidas Ultra Boost Xeno and what you would do to your version. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.